Hi, I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer, here to teach athletes how to get over a big choke like Brandon Bostick of the Packers did here in the championship game uh, 2015 against Seattle. Number one, step one, be in that emotion, the emotion of disappointment, embarrassment, sadness, the frustration. Don't fight it. This is like bereavement. You've got to allow yourself to be in that emotion. All right? Pain, physical and emotional, are inevitable. They're going to happen. Suffering, on the other hand, is optional. All suffering comes from a resistance to what is, or resistance to reality. When you fight the emotions, you're going to make them worse. So just be in it. Step two, to get out of that loop of difficult emotions about the whole thing. What you got to do is end the why, or why did this happen to me? You've got to come up with a resolution and integrate it with your reality of who you are and your belief system. What does that mean for an athlete? It means coming up with something like, well, that's just the way sports is. This happens. It's random. I took my eye off the ball. Whatever. It says it's nothing about me and it's nothing about my ability in sports or my nothing about me as a person, right? No, this is just what happens in sports. It happened to me and the story. That's step two. Integrate it. Come up with something that you can just be solid on. Step three, double down on your success. There are countless stories of athletes who had a tremendous adversity, difficulty, choke, if you will, and then came back twice as good, twice as tremendous or successful, and that wipes out the choke. That's all you can do. Even if you don't have something that wipes out the choke, going for it, determining that that's the path you're on, that's what gets rid of that difficult feeling and emotion from the choke. I'm Craig Sigal, your mental toughness trainer. Good luck, Brandon Bostick and the Packers in the future. You'll be back.